Good morning, my brother, and welcome to a new, fresh book of Acts as we start in on this great journey. Uh, looking forward to it. I want to share with you an introduction that I have from my Bible about Acts. The book of Acts begins where the Gospels leave off, reporting on the actions of the apostles and the work of the Holy Spirit. Beginning in Jerusalem, the church is established and grows rapidly then faces intense persecution, which drives the believers out into the surrounding areas. Through this dispersion, Samaritans and Gentiles hear the good news and believe. Guys, I am not going to pretend that I am anything in uh, prophetic or speaking into the future, but... I can't help but think at the time we're in right now with so many churches still closed, is God not sending us, the church, where Jesus, the Holy Spirit dwells within us to go and spread out the good news? And that's just, that's my, um, that's just my take on it. All right, guys. And I'm not, I'm just saying that that's what I, I sense is happening that the church is just being expanded one person at a time as we go out into the world. All right, your verses that rose up, love to hear them. I picked out two. I picked out verse seven and eight. Here we go. He said to them, this is Jesus, it is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So I'm getting a grip on chapter one of Acts. I'm pumped. I'm excited. Those two verses, seventh and eight, here's my reveal as I get a grip on them. Power of the Holy Spirit includes, are you ready? Strength, courage, boldness, confidence, insight, ability, and authority. My implementation is I follow, as a follower of Jesus Christ, I too can expect the Holy Spirit to work in and through me to advance the kingdom of God. My prayer back to God is, Lord, infuse me today with your Holy Spirit to advance your kingdom here on earth. Jesus, be exalted. So, guys, I'm so excited to be diving into Acts and really excited to hear how God's going to use uh, his word through this into your life. And remember, if we're doing this whole getting a daily grip on God's word and it is just for you, my friend, my brother, it is so worth it. It's so worth it. So love to hear your input as we spend this time in Acts, maybe even how your time in Psalm was. Always love to hear those testimonies. But let me close this out with a collective word of prayer. And man, oh man, strap in as we dive into Acts in these next few days. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for the journey that you took us through in Psalms. Lord, just amazing to see the themes that rose up uh, out of the book of Psalms. And Lord, now as we transition in the book of Acts, Lord, teach us. Holy Spirit, this is your time. We surrender to you to be exalted and continue to drive your word, not only into our minds, Lord, but please help us travel it down the 18 inches to our heart. We pray this in the mighty and most powerful name of Jesus. Amen. All right. God bless you guys. Have an amazing day. And I will check with you bright and early in the morning.